Welcome to Discussing Dad Life, where we break down bullshit so you don't have to. I'm Void, this is No, and let's go. So, the kids came up with us for this topic. Yes. I mean, for I, Wellspring Wednesdays. For Wellspring Wednesdays. We gotta remember to do that intro. I'm horrible at that. That's why I got you here, buddy. <laughs> um, I think it's a good topic to, to discuss. Um, Did you even say what no, it is No, I haven't yet? said what it is yet. Don't say what it is yet. Don't say what it is yet? Yeah. Okay. It's not kid-friendly. Well, oh. it is kid-friendly because it affects well, I mean, them directly. Yeah, but this is just to help those dads out. Yeah. You know, it's not like we're going to be <laughs> going into weird shit. Yeah, we are. Don't lie. Oh, you Reset, are. I'm resetting that one. Okay. So? Oh. So, why don't you just get into it? We can just... <laughs> God damn, that's loud. That is a little loud. I, I, I'm going to have to fix that setting, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We, at least we can hear, and it's not blowing our eardrums out right now. Yeah. So we it's, we'll cover this more for the Friday episode, but yeah. yeah, we got things working and hopefully fixed up. I'll work on that in between. All right, filming. All right. So your son was the one who came up with this. Yes. You do the intro. Let's do it. All right. Bring him into it. What is puberty? <laughs> 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 I just giggle. <laughs> like yeah. Peter and what Kirk are the giggle? stages of it? So we pulled up uh, the definition, right? Yeah. Well, question. What is puberty and what are the stages of it? And then this lady, doctor, I'm going to butcher your name, so I'm not going to try it. But she's a doctor from India. Amritha. <clears throat> she's, you want to read the definition? Uh, it don't matter. Or, or what she's saying what it is? Yeah. So this doctor, Dr. Anuvitha Kamath. Um, whoops. She says puberty is defined as the period when there is transformation from childhood to adulthood. There will be the release of hormones to stimulate sexual characteristics. There are five stages of puberty. The first stage is uh, prepubital. In the second stage, around 9 to 14 years of age, genital development occurs and the growth of hair in the pubic and auxiliary region occurs. The third stage is a is at 10 to 16 years where there are vocal changes seen in boys and breast development seen in girls. The fourth stage is when puberty is at its peak. Penis size grows growth in boys and menstruation begins in girls. The fifth stage is the final stage where sexual maturity is achieved. Now that's the definition. That is puberty. That is puberty. So I guess what are your experiences with puberty? Well, we've, we've, we've all gone through it. Well, yes. As adults, yes. We've but all gone I mean, like, it. what can you... What did you do to help your kids? Well, the oldest is just 13. So, so he's still in what? The like the second third, or third fourth stage. stage. Yeah. Um, and with the release of hormones, their attitudes change, right? So that, oh, that, that's, yeah. that's how it's being a big struggle. One. <laughs> so like my daughter is 10, yeah. um, and she is very emotional about everything, right? And that's just the release of hormones. I completely yeah, understand yeah. that. Yeah. Um, there's really not much you can do other than just be understanding, like, <laughs> your hormones are going haywire, you know oh, what I mean? poor thing. Uh, so, you yeah. know, obviously there's things you can do to help, like, when they start growing their facial hair, teaching them how to shave. The um, girls are growing facial hair? No, the boys. <laughs> just teasing, just teasing. Yeah, so, right, like, teaching them how to shave. Yeah, about to start doing that soon enough. Teaching um, my son. And then, obviously, proper hygiene, how to take care of yourself. Definitely. Because you're going to get, you know, boys, you get stinky, you get oily, and you need to actually take showers. Yeah, um, no doubt. Same with girls. Girls are going to do the same thing. You need yeah. to do that. Um, and then with girls, there's the extra added layer where they start their monthly nice, cycles. Yeah. They're, so, I, I'm... I'm not a woman. It's kind of hard for me to explain. I understand. Yeah, the I get functionality it. There's a picture it, on the back of the box, sweetheart. Here yeah, you go. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> so good thing her mom's really heavily involved in her life. So she can obviously help out with that. And then I have sisters that can, if I have questions that I can't answer. Yeah. And, and that situation is kind of tough for a single dad. You know what I mean? Like you kind of have to hope you have somebody there to help with that situation. Yeah, Cause you can understand the fundamental, like the yeah, basics, yeah. like, Hey, this happens and this is why it's happening. Yeah, but and these are things you can use, but like there's details that we aren't going to know. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know the innermost parts of all that shit. No, so it's, is what it is. I mean, what are your thoughts here? Uh, well, like I said, I think this is a good topic to discuss. And I think a lot of fathers, I mean, obviously this is, just to some fathers, this is like retarded to talk about because they're like, yeah, man, you know, 
it changes. It just happens. It just happens. It yeah, you know what I mean? But I mean, which I is kind of my stance, though. I mean, like, I get it. You know, the kids brought it up to us. I yeah. thought I'm, I'm along there with you. But, um, you know, if there are any fathers out there that are like concerned about it, I mean, just honestly, I think you should talk to a, a physician of some sort. If you have, have serious concerns, concerns and yeah. stuff like that, consult your doctor um, or your family medical prof- professional or something and just see what what they would, you know, yeah, yeah. not prescribe. But what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, recommend. recommend. Thank you. I'm yeah, I mean, right. So she's saying the first stage is where you're not in puberty. The yeah. second stage begins roughly around nine through fourteen. It begins. That checks and that's out. Genital development occurs, and the growth of hair in the pubic and auxiliary regions occur. Peach fuzz. Yeah, you're gonna get peach fuzz. You're gonna get armpit hair. Yep. Your leg hair is gonna start growing. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get hair on your balls. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. All um. Those. Third stage, 10 to 16, typically starts where vocal changes are seen in boys. So that's just because you're... Yeah, what? I forget. <laughs> Remind me why that happens If again. I remember right, it's because the Adam's apple. Uh-huh. Right? Like, uh, you're... you're uh, Should we look it up real quick? Yeah, because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm freaking drawing a blank here now. I can't remember. I remember learning about it in freaking sex ed back in uh, middle school, but... Why does the voice change? It, I think it's just the hormones. Uh, the b- boys' voices change during puberty because the growth of the voice box or larynx in the vocal cords. Exactly what I said. Yeah, because you were right. The, uh, increase in testosterone in boys. This, the growth right. is caused by the increase in testosterone in boys. The voice box and the vo- vocal folds become longer and thicker, which makes the voice drop and deepen. Their voice may also crack and sound squeaky. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, and that's happened. Um, Mini mouse. Uh, my nephew... He's going through that. He he had his voice changing. It was quite hilarious. Oh, know? yeah, dude. Uh, it's so funny. My, <laughs> m- my son, his voice does it every now and again, too. Yeah, dude. Same with mine. It's so funny. <laughs> they get excited about something. Look at him. Look at him. He's all <laughs> he's pissed, pissed off over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you brought this topic up. Um, Yeah, it's 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 definitely, I mean, it's, it's cool to be around, because my dad was never around. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's really nice to be around my children that, that if they needed me to be there for them I'm, I'm available you know what i mean i work from home so i'm literally always there whenever they need me and it's really yep. nice to know it, it's it's a comfort of mind a peace of mind that to know that that they have somebody there because i never did yeah <laughs> sorry these freaking flies man. yeah dude i'm, I'm, I'm they should be taken care of they should soon. start charging them rent bro they should yeah, they make, a, they make a fortune and fly poop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all they got to offer. Um, so, yeah. And then in girls, the breast development begins. Yep. Um, okay. In the fourth stage of puberty is at its peak. Penis size grows in boys. And menstruation begins in girls. Okay. That makes sense. Um, in the fifth stage, final stage is where sexual maturity is achieved. However, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, but the, um, once menstruation, even before menstruation begins, actually, women can get pregnant, correct? Uh, as far could, as I know. Could, dang it. Now I'm going to show how inadequately prepared we are as yeah, dads. Yeah, this literally got dropped on us. So if you're watching this and judging, <laughs> feel free. <laughs> but if I'm not mistaken, menstruation is the, the simple thing. Well, no, no, no. It, it's the egg drops down the fallopian tube mm-hmm. and then the uterus prepares itself and if that egg doesn't get, get fertilized, fertilized and uh, attaches then everything sheds out that's menstruation yeah, right yeah. so theoretically you could actually get pregnant before you even first menstruation cycle right because your yeah. egg is still is beginning its journey down yes. before you act so yeah you know you're on the right track and unless we're both wrong here yeah i don't know it's been a minute since i've actually thought that's about all this cuz we're not teenagers no, anymore dude. you know so yeah. it's, it's a little hard um so, if you guys have the answer to that, I'd it's really like appreciate math. it. If you don't use it, it just yeah. goes away. <laughs> yeah. Right, because the, the more important things after you hit sexual maturity is yeah. more or less uh, mate selection, making sure that you're choosing yep. the correct people to sleep with. Um, or or happened. choosing abstinence, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I knew yeah. one person in high school that was abstinent? abstinent. I knew a girl that would not have vaginal sex. 
and the reasoning why was because she was super religious mm-hmm. and it was very bad but everything else was open oh my god and i'm just like that doesn't seem very um, logical <laughs> but it, whatever it is what it is you know what i'm saying uh, i mean that's you you know what <laughs> trenton says but what would jesus do <laughs> <laughs> oh, i'm just saying you know we to each his own yeah to each his own it's hilarious. That is really funny, actually. But yeah, so what is puberty? We kind of answered what puberty is. How can you really help them out? It's more or less, I, in my just opinion, it's just there. understanding. Yeah. Like, we all went through it. We all understand how the hormones made you crazy. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, boys do. Care. Boys want to, like, like their testosterone's at all time high, so they're all, like, peacocking out trying oh, to like, yeah, attract dude. the mates. They think they're Puffing like, a their badass. chest out, yeah. That's, my, my personal thought is slap them back down a little bit, uh, knock a notch down. That's funny. Make them realize they're not as special or cool as they think they are. I don't know, man. I was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, what else you want to cover on puberty? I don't. I don't know, man. This was like I said. This was just dropped on us, so I don't. I mean, that's pretty much it. Yeah, and, and that's kind of the purpose of this podcast is let our kids interact, yeah. like our daily lives, kind of put put forth, and we'll just kind of discuss it. Yeah, and, and you know, that's something they legitimately <laughs> came up to us about, and we're concern i don't know what they did it just to be funny uh or i mean it's a good topic regardless and yeah but here we are yeah so just in case you're a single father and you have no idea how sexual reproduction happens you should probably look <laughs> into that a little yeah. bit but we kind of gave you a forefront on what to expect here you know yeah what to expect when um, expecting I, I i i will say this i think women are much better position to deal with puberty than oh, men are definitely because we're more action based and yeah yeah the women are much more um emotional emotional based right so find yourself a woman yeah it, it definitely helps to have a counterpart yes it, well that's ex- why it's especially when you're dealing with a young girl yeah because dude, that, that that we don't like i don't understand my daughter's issues y- yeah like I get her it. emotionality where it's stemming from i have no idea where to even start I'm an idiot when it comes to stuff like that. So it's like, I just, like she told me the other day, she's like, "Uh, I don't want to ask you. And I said, why? And she said, private. And she said, well, because then you'll start answering it. And I don't understand what you're trying to say. And I'm just like, well, I'm just trying to answer your question. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, but you're, you don't tell me in a way I understand it. And I'm just like, I don't. So (laughs) there's that communication bridge as well. Right. Because I'm very logical based and I'm trying to explain it from a logical standpoint yep. and she's just wanting to understand why it feels this way. And yeah. I, and it, it, it is kind of what I came up with, but I, but I mean, I can understand that. I, I, like I said, I can't get to that baseline to like the starting point. I don't even know. It feels like sometimes it feels like I'm on Mars and she's on earth. I mean, it very well might be the case. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, if you guys have any, Thing to add, man. Add it in the comments. Hey, I section. saw you looked right. At I, did, I did. I did it right you, this time. You did it, and I got to look over here, and I'm just like, hi guys. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let us know. <laughs> I was giving I them compliments. See you. Yes. That's creepy. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a good one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please give us a like, share, and subscribe. Till then, peace. peace.